hello everybody and welcome to another amazing testimonial with the very fabulous Julie Irwin. Thank you so much for joining me today, Julie. My absolute pleasure. So you are an incredible leader in the community. You're a businesswoman, all sorts of things. I, I couldn't possibly encapsulate everything that you do. Um, and I have had the great pleasure of working with you. And thank you so much for coming over today just to have a chat about what your experience was, what kind of shifts you had, um, and what sort of impact the work's had on your life. I really appreciate you. And I, you too, Kathy, and thank you. And it's not... Uh, I couldn't have got this far without you. Your support and just the whole experience has been absolutely incredible. Thank you. So we have been in each other's orbit for a few years, actually, and then just sort of reconnected over the last, I don't know, six to eight months. Time yeah. is completely escaping me right now. Um, and just immediately connected back in got very deeply again which was beautiful and um, then we sort of decided to do this amazing journey together um, could you just speak to whoever might be listening who might be thinking about taking that step and working with um, a practitioner uh, what kind of sort of shifts and what your experience has been through the whole process sure and I probably uh, am like most women. We just plod along doing our own thing and, and, you know, thinking we're all just managing and all that sort of thing. So I've been in business for many years and lots of community organisations that I love. But I just sometimes get a little bit overwhelmed and I probably didn't realise that's what I, that's what I was feeling until I had my – spent my quality time with you. But um, – yeah, we did. We reconnected after many years. It's funny, I'm a great believer in timing and I think this has all been about timing. So so for me, I, I consider that I'm a fairly confident, strong, capable woman, but, you know, we all need some help and we all need some guidance. And sometimes I think to have someone like you in our lives just give, makes us take that time to reflect and realise how important we are and that we do deserve that time for ourselves. So catching up with you, um, yeah, the time I spent with you was just not only just being around you and your your beautiful aura and you just make the days brighter when you're in in um, a space sharing with sharing a space with you, but I think um, I think you made me just slow down, take a breath. Think about me and what I was doing in my life and whether it was really, really, really completely fulfilling me or was I just going through the motions. And I've always been very lucky in my working life. I've loved what I've done. I've worked with some amazing people uh, and continue to. But um, I think now since my sessions with you, I feel like there's more quality in my life. There's more what I'm doing um I'm coming from a different angle. I'm, I do, I've always appreciated my work and the people around me, but I think because I'm feeling settled in myself and relaxed in myself, I'm giving more of myself. And, um, you know, that's a really beautiful feeling because I am very community-minded and love our community, but now I actually feel like I'm being probably true to myself. And what I do now and the time that I use and share with others is more valuable to me and them. I'm, I am present. I'm feeling more um, stable because I can, I'm a very good person at multitasking, but I always thought I was great at it, but I didn't realise that, you know, I was dropping some of the balls I didn't even see because I was just rushing so much. So I think um, the quality of life, even in my personal relationship, um yeah and work it's been amazing thanks to you you but thanks to you because you showed up and did the work so it's all on you um, well you did warn me that you would um you know get the whip out if I didn't so <laughs> I, I like true. to be compliant and follow the rules <laughs> Well, what I really, really love about what you shared Julie and thank you again for being so honest and raw about it is what what, what I what I love is that you you are very accomplished, very intelligent, very strong, um, leader in the community. And what I love is that you just, everything was going great. You know, everything was going great for you, like really successful, really amazing. Um, 
really appreciated by the community because I know you're a big leader in the community. Um, but what I loved about your journey is that you just said, yeah, but I just feel like there's something there. I'm not sure what it is. Yep. My life is good. I'm really yep. successful. I'm fulfilled. I'm doing all of these things, but there's just something I'm not quite sure about. And I actually want a bit more. Like I just want some more, you know, I deserve more and I, I'm going to claim that for myself because I think some people feel like when they have got great success in their lives and they are a leader and they are strong and all of the things, they think, oh, I'm fine as I am. But what I love about you is you you wanted to expand and you wanted to claim that next piece for yourself. I did, absolutely. I, and I didn't realise how much at the time, but I guess I've always been, because I'm independent, I like to learn and I like to, and I always felt like yeah, there was something missing and I just feel like I've got that now. So maybe it is the fact that as I've got older, I'm I'm still happy to to learn and grow and be a better person and someone that I want my children to be proud of and you know and to be proud of myself. Mm. Yeah, what I and loved about when we were debriefing over lots of lunches, <laughs> which I love. Um, one of the things that stood out for me as well is you just explained to me, and I hope you don't mind sharing, that you just had this incredible deep thorough sense of calm about you yeah. and that how that yeah. changed how you were interacting with people how you were showing up in situations the way that you were with yourself because you just had this beautiful sense of calm about you yeah and that's something that I've, I've probably strive for for years because I am a little bit all over the place and doing lots of things but um it's just it's amazing it's almost like having that just a lovely glass of fresh water, just lovely cold water that just makes you sit and enjoy it. And, you know, people say smell the roses and I love roses, but, um, you know, you just to take that time, I just, I think I feel valued. I think I feel like I've, all right, you've earned this. You go, girl, you, you've earned this. You deserve this. So just make the most of it. And it's not being a big head or a show off or whatever. It's actually going, you know what? I have worked hard. I have done, you know, the best I can bringing our children up and, and my life and whatever. And now it's about just being settled in myself and saying, you know, I am good enough. I choose, you know, I choose to be me. Uh, I am present. I do care. Uh, and I really don't worry about what other people think because you know, I'm, I'm true to myself, I'm true to my heart, and I feel good in that space. Mm, that's good. With your support. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, Julie, just to round up, if there was somebody listening to this who was contemplating taking that step and doing the work, but they weren't quite sure they were on the fence, what would you speak to that person? I would say sit yourself down, do a list of pros and cons, things that you're happy with, things that you aren't, and then pick up that phone and ring Kathy Domini because that list will be gone in a week or so. You just you owe it to yourself to be the best person that you can be for yourself, for your family, for your relationships, and for your community. So you really do deserve, even if you start and you can't finish, but I guarantee you will. But you know, even if you just give it a go, I remember having that feeling and thinking, all right, well, you know. I oh, no, she's nice, but, you know, is she, is she that good? <laughs> yep. She's that good, seriously. So, you know, do do yourself a favour. Thank Give you. Give Kathy a call. Reach and out. What, what I love about what you've touched on there is it was only five contact hours we had. Wow. Yeah. Gee. Yeah. Good value for money. Well, and I no love that it's it. the... The speed and the depth of it is what I love for my clients. You know, you don't have to spend weeks, months. It doesn't have to be painful. You know, we don't have to dig into loads of stuff that's re-traumatizing. We just go in and we just clean it all out and amplify everything that you want. And it's just a beautiful process. Yeah. And I think that you say, you know, you need to be present. If you're going to do it, you need to give 100%. Otherwise, you're not doing justice to yourself. So it's um, such valuable time. It really is. 
Beautiful. Well, thank you, Julie. I really appreciate you. We're always in each other's orbit, which is such a blessing to me. So thank you so much for taking the time today. Always a pleasure. Thank you.